And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Every generation faced hardship. History has disclosed the trials and tribulations the indigenous black people face daily. Through trials and tribulations, the indigenous people learn to survive as well as evolve. There has never been a time when the indigenous people did not experience trials that tested them to the maximum degree. The multiple plagues the Most High sent to Mizraim to influence Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. While the land of Mizraim were experiencing multiple plagues, the Israelites who dwelt in Mizraim in the best part, the land of Goshen, did not experience the many plagues Mizraim descendants face. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hail smote every herb of the field and break every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail? And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And the Lord did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died. But of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. It is important that you remember how the Most High shield the Israelites from the plagues. When you serve the Most High, He will protect you. Do not let our present conditions separate you from the Most High. That is the goal of the kingdom of darkness to get you to lose faith in the Most High. Do not let the kingdom of darkness make you feel as if you have no options. Let history continue to reveal how the Most High saved His people during perilous times. Joseph had to lead the indigenous black people out of a worldwide famine while he was second in command in the land of Mizraim. And the seven years of plenteousness that was in the land of Egypt were ended, and the seven years of dearth began to come, according as Joseph had said. And the dearth was in all lands, but in all the land of Egypt there was bread. And when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptians, Go unto Joseph, what he saith to you, do. And the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold unto the Egyptians, and the famine waxed sore in the land of Egypt. The Most High will always send His people a warning, just as the workers of iniquity in high places tell you what they're going to do in movies, cartoons, music, and the many various tools they use to program the people in the beast system. Indigenous Black people, when the Most High warn you through His prophets, a dream, or the countless other ways He speaks to His people, you must listen and prepare yourself and family. If you don't do your part, do not be surprised if you get caught up with the wicked who refuse to repent in the beast system. Faith without works is dead. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. The Most High will do his part. The indigenous people must do their part. You can't buy a new house, car, or anything if you do not go to the store to make the purchase or seek the proper people to help you make the purchase. The Most High can only order your steps if you take a step. The scriptures give an account of how the Most High provide for the birds of the air. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not 
much better than they. For the birds to eat, they must forage. The birds are not standing around waiting for the Most High to drop food into their mouths. If the birds do not get up and find food, they will starve to death. Likewise, you must get up and do your part in the mix of trouble. When you see the signs of times, you don't hit the snooze button. You must be vigilant and listen to what the Most High is saying to his people. The Most High is not warning his people for no reason. Our ancestors endured many trials and tribulations. Many of these trials were recorded and the Most High warned his people beforehand. The flood that wiped out all the inhabitants on earth and left one family to repopulate the earth. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, but the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Nobody survived the flood except the people the Most High predestined to survive and repopulate the earth. Noah found favor in the sight of the Most High. The Most High used Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. Every indigenous inhabitant living today descend from one of Noah's three sons. History has revealed countless other trials and tribulations the indigenous people face. The killing of our Messiah, the Israelites wandering in the wilderness for 40 years before they could inherit the promised land, the enslavement of the indigenous Israelites, the senseless killings by the slave capturers, the police in this generation. Every time a new era comes, the indigenous people face hardship before the start of the new era. Trials and tribulations brings perseverance. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Do not let the famines, natural disaster, the rise of demonic influence in governments, religious institutions, and mainstream media fear-mongering cause you to panic. Also, do not let the disciples of Satan, whose world is collapsing, cause you to live in fear. Satan's ministers made a deal with the kingdom of darkness to keep you in sin via religion. As you have heard throughout history, the indigenous people suffered many hardship. Through those trials and tribulations, the indigenous people draw closer to the Most High. From every trials, the indigenous people withstood from the heathens murdering our Messiah to the great exodus out of the land of Mizraim, the Most High made the indigenous black people aware of the things to come. The Most High always prepare his people. The scripture said the Most High predicted the end from the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. The reason the Most High prophesied the end from the beginning, to help the indigenous black people understand the signs of times. Additionally, before the prophesied events occur, the indigenous people gain a head start on preparing. You must establish a personal relationship with the Most High to know your next step. The plagues the Most High sent upon the land of Mizraim did what the Most High sent it to do. The plagues had no effect on the Israelites because the Most High made the plagues skip his people. And the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt, and there shall nothing die of all that is the children of Israel. As we move forward to our present conditions, the Most High will protect the remnant from natural disasters and the plagues that are meant to judge the nations. You must be a repentant servant that serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. If you serve the Most High according to religion, you are still in sin and have yet to know the Most High. It is important to know the real Elohim of Israel. The Most High will not allow the remnant to be deceived by the manipulations of the kingdom of darkness to imitate the signs of times. Remember, Satan imitates everything the Most High does to deceive the world. Duality plays a major role in the kingdom of darkness deceptions. Just as the magicians and sorcerers imitate the miracles Moses did, 
the workers of iniquity can manipulate natural disasters in the beast system. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Satan's imitations can never overpower the Most High. That is why Aaron's serpent overpowered and destroyed the magician's serpent. The book of Matthew revealed that in the last days, there will be false messiahs and false prophets that will show great signs and wonders. And if it were possible, they would deceive the elect. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I've told you before. Yahshua prophesied to the disciples what the end would be, so that the generations to come would not be deceived by the kingdom of darkness imitations of prophecy. The kingdom of darkness has imitated many prophecies that deceive the world. The return of the Jewish people to Israel deceived the whole world. The chosen people, the Israelites, are still scattered, and they will remain scattered until the Most High gather them. The book of Revelations revealed to us the great powers and wonders the beast will do to deceive many. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. As you heard in the book of Revelations, the kingdom of darkness will have power to do great signs and wonders to deceive everyone. The Most High said if it were possible, the kingdom of darkness would deceive the very elect. To the remnant, do not be quick to believe everything you hear in the beast system. Do your research on weather modifications and you will see how the heathens tampered with the weather. It is documented on how the United States used weather modification to cause heavy rain to win the war in Vietnam. The Vietnam War ended in 1975. 46 years later, I am sure the workers of iniquity perfected their weather modification system. Indigenous black people, regardless of what they do, I can testify that I have never seen the Most High forsake the righteous. I have been young, and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. A repentant servant would never be forsaken by the Most High. Presently, everywhere you turn, chaos is ravishing the nations worldwide. The kingdom of darkness is using the workers of iniquity in high places to enforce mandates that will strip the people of their human rights. Your rights to choose is not the only freedom being oppressed. The workers of iniquity cast the spirit of fear into the beast system. If the spirit of fear is not properly dealt with, it can destroy a person's life. Fear caused many to social distance and remain six feet from their loved ones. Fear caused many to take the jab. The fear of homelessness and losing the lifestyle many people work hard to maintain are being threatened if you don't take the jab. Through fear, many people, including the indigenous people, are submitting to the evil will of the principalities that rule through the workers of iniquity in high places. The scripture said, the Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Fear is causing the wicked to become desperate. 
When the people become desperate, they do desperate things. The kingdom of darkness want the indigenous people to believe they have no options. The workers of iniquity do not want the indigenous people to remember the numerous times the Most High saved his people. That is why they bombard you with bad news and highlight the casualties to discourage you. The workers of iniquity do not want you to cry out to the Elohim of Israel. The workers of iniquity want to make it appear as if the Most High do not answer prayers and save his people. The remnant cannot let the chaos happening in the beast system cause you to lose hope in the Most High. Do not let the kingdom of darkness disturb the perfect peace that surpass all understanding the Most High left with his people. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Do not let anyone disturb your peace. When you start to panic like the heathens who do not know the Most High, you will become a casualty in the beast system. The Most High did not prophesy the end from the beginning for no reason. Do not let the heathens' fear disturb you. If I allow the tears of the wicked disturb my peace, I would become emotional and afraid like the seed of the fallen and indigenous heathens who do not know the real Elohim of Israel. It is important to guard your mind. The seed of the fallen and the heathens do not understand oppression. Whenever a person from the serpent seed go through hardship, they lose their minds. They don't know how to cope with injustice, oppression, and trials of all sorts. The beast system sheltered them through the many privileges made available to them. The seed of the fallen do not know that they are in the position to rule because of the downfall of the indigenous black people. The scripture said the strangers among us would rise above us. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. The wicked do not know that the chaos is judgment on their nations. To the remnant, do not let the heathens, deceived by religious doctrines, scare you into accepting an idol. Almost on every comment section on social media, there is a Christian saying, We are going home soon. Accept Jesus while you can. What the Christian should be saying is repent and turn to the Most High for his kingdom is at hand. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John did not say accept Jesus and be saved. He said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There is a major difference between repenting and accepting a savior. The Most High command his people to repent and turn from their wicked ways. The Savior you are taught to accept in religion is an idol. There are Israelites in the awakening who are afraid of what is happening because of the chaos. Many have allowed the fear mongering to disturb their peace. The Most High did not warn us for no reason. Instead of eternalizing the fatalities and destructions in the beast system, let the judgment of the Most High do its work. Your focus should be on the Most High. There are many Israelites who wonder if the jab is the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is not optional. It's either you take the mark or die. You cannot buy or sell without the mark. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. There are no religious exemptions with the mark of the beast. There are no bailouts. The kingdom of darkness wants a new world order to get everyone to bow down to a new and improved beast system and culture. Right now, the workers of iniquity are pushing mandates that are meant to irritate you for you to give up your freedom. The mark of the beast, you don't have no such privilege. From my opinion, I believe it will get to the point where you can't buy or sell without the job. The Most High gave his people knowledge beforehand for his people to prepare themselves and family for the times when they cannot buy or sell. If you are a part of the remnant, the Most High has been telling you to prepare a long time ago. 
The Most High told me to start preparing in 2016. If you belong to the Most High, he will accept and love you as his own. He is not going to forsake you. The Most High will provide. You must decide to listen to the Most High or continue to push the snooze button. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I believe the Most High never allowed the indigenous black nations worldwide to become developed like the heathen nations because we as a people will return to the third world lifestyle when we can't buy or sell without the mark of the beast. Farming and depending on land versus machines is how you become one with the land. The beast system has stripped us of our natural survival skills. That is why they can mandate a vaccine and many will accept the vaccine because they have become accustomed to the beast system way of life. The third world nations maintain their natural skills of farming and hunting to survive. They do not depend on grocery stores and government bailouts. If you don't work, farm, and hunt, you don't eat in third world nations. Or even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. The Most High did not allow for the so-called third world nations that are full of natural resources to become like the heathen nations to preserve their resource. In addition, the indigenous people would maintain their natural survival skills. The heathen nations do not have natural resources. They rely on the third world nations to maintain their massive cities of Babel. China, America, and countless others are plundering Africa. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Trials and tribulations are meant for discipline and training that brings growth. Through trials and tribulations, a person change and mature. Sometimes you're not going to like the trials the Most High allow into your life. Some of you will lose your job and experience hardship. Trust the Most High's process. Don't be discouraged when these things happen. Your outcome will be better than before. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. The indigenous people are survivors. That is why we are still here. The Most High has the final say in everything. It is important that the indigenous people not lose sight of the Most High during this time. Every generation goes through trials and tribulations. This generation is not exempt from trials and tribulations. Every generation have a role to play in fulfilling the prophecies. Many of you are now realizing we are the generation of Matthew chapter 24. We are beginning to see the signs of times. The scriptures said this generation will not pass away until all these things are fulfilled. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. There are many people who interpret Matthew chapter 24 verse 34 as nobody would die in that generation who began to witness the signs of times until all these things are fulfilled. A generation consists of 10 years, according to the B system. For example, everyone who is born in the millennial generation, some will live to see many things, while some people will die from that generation. However, not everyone in the millennial generation will pass away before all these things are fulfilled. Some people will be taken, just as the scriptures state. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Some people in this generation will be taken, while some remain. But the generation that begin to witness the signs of times shall not pass away until everything is fulfilled, as the scriptures state. Remember when the Israelites could not enter the promised land until the generation of the Israelites who rebel passed away? Their children were the ones to inherit the promised land. Doubtless, ye shall not come into the land, concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Joshua the son of Nun. But your little ones, which he said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. This generation is beginning to see the birth pang and the signs of times. 
We must keep our eyes on the Most High to survive the times we are living in. The kingdom of darkness wants a new world order. We, the people, must recognize what is happening and respond accordingly. Do not let the wicked who are living in fear cause you to panic. Many indigenous people in previous generations stand their ground. Indigenous people, you do not need a pastor, prophet, or some religious leader to tell you what to do. You should have established a deep enough relationship with the Most High for Yah to order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Faith plays a major role in your relationship with the Most High. You must believe that the Most High will do what he said he would do for his people. When you have little faith, do not expect the same outcome from a person who have great faith in the Most High. Without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. Just because you go through hardship, this does not indicate the Most High is not with you. Yeshua was killed and the Most High was with him. Joseph was wrongfully accused and jailed. The Most High was with him. You show your faith with your works. You must do your part in the covenant between you and your Elohim. The Most High prophesied the end from the beginning to help his people. Having faith in the Most High is important, but you must accompany your faith with works. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Indigenous Black people, as you witness the signs of times, make sure you're doing your part to follow the instructions coming from the Most High. Let no man deceive you. Moses, Abraham, Sarah, Joshua, and many others had to exercise great faith. The Most High used them tremendously. Every generation has a role to play. No generation is exempt. The scriptures must be fulfilled. Indigenous Black people, with everything that you face, let the peace of the Most High be with you in all that you do. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. 